is Pavlina from The Pavlina Show. I am here in New York City for the 140th annual Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. <sighs> that was a little bit of a mouthful, but let's go take a walk around. and I'm here with Pat. How are you doing? Okay. That's great. So tell me about Mastiffs. Mastiffs are the most massive breed. So they're the biggest, heaviest dogs. They're not the tallest, but they're the most heavy that you're going to find. The males are between 180 and 210, depending on the size of the dog. And the females are about 160 pounds. Do you live here in the city with these dogs? We live out on Long Island, so it wasn't a long trip for us. Yeah, but still, is it like... And how many of them do you have? Do you have just three? All three. These all three live together with us. They don't need a ton of room. They need enough room for them. They got to be able to lay down, roll around, fit on the couch with you. You need a big enough bed because they want to be very close to you all the time. Yeah, that's amazing. But they're like ginormous lap dogs, basically. Yes, they want to sit. They have no idea how big they are. They want to sit right with you. Hey guys, I'm here with Margaret. And who are we meeting and greeting right now? This is David. He's a Portuguese Padanga Pequeno. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. So what attracted you to this breed? Well, I went over to Portugal to buy a different kind of dog and the breeder had one of these and it jumped on my lap and I, I fell in love. So I came home and thought about it for a few months and then called her back up and, and bought the dog. Yeah, so tell me about like this breed. Like we just talked um, to Matt or Pat who is like with the Mastiffs and everything and those are some big dogs. So tell me about these ones. Well, these guys are hunting hounds. So they have a, a hound personality. Um, the boys are, tend to be a little more laid back and lovable. The girls are busy. Um, but they're a great compact dog with a, with a nice personality. I'm here with Judith, so tell me about this little guy. These are the smallest of the working terriers. Yeah, they're, when we say working, they will go after rats, they will go after vermin. And some of them go down the holes, and they're wonderful companion dogs. They live in the city, they live in the country, they live on boats, they travel the world, everything. Actually, Eve, who just won one of the awards. Tell me about it. So she won Best of Opposite Sex here. This is her first time competing at Westminster. She's only two years old. She competed against her mother, her brother, and then a grand champion male dog who took breed. So today was really exciting. Yes. Is this your first time competing with the dogs? This is my first time competing with my own dogs. Last year I got to show here, I came dressed to show, and it turns out they needed a handler for an otter hound, so I got to jump in. I actually met my first otter hound here six years ago. Oh my gosh, so you've been doing this for a while, you've been at this. Yeah, and she's my first bred by champion, so this was really exciting to be able to show her at Westminster. Hey everyone, I'm here with Terry and her dog Zeus. So tell me about the breeding process for, you know, the Westminster dog shows. 
Uh, we show almost every weekend every year and Westminster is very special to everybody. It's obviously very fancy and, and a lot of publicity so we all work hard to, to get here with our dogs, exercising, loving care and, and hope we all do well. Definitely. What is like the grooming process like? Because it, it must be a lot. She's got a, he's got a lot of hair. For this breed, um, it's it's pretty much a wash and blow dry every week. Um, you want to give them some good food and good exercise and love, and that's about it. Hey guys, I'm here with Patricia. So tell me about your dog. Well, this is Champion Emeralds Tebow LeBeau. He's less than two years old. Uh, born in California. We traveled here by car. Um, he became a champion in 12 weeks when he started when he was nine months old and he ended when he was one year, two weeks old and, and now he's working on his grand championship and I just wanted to come here because this is the pinnacle of all dog shows. I showed at the Cow Palace two weeks ago in San Francisco. Have you heard of that show? Yes. And he got select dog two days in a row. I mean, he does really, really well. He has. Uh, he's, uh, for a grand championship, you have to have 25 points and three majors, and he has two majors and 16 points. Wow! So very successful. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I think so. And you know, a lot of uh, how they win depends, of course, on what the judge is looking for. And in the Malinois, there's some variation. So some are darker. He's lighter. He's fawn, and he's lighter with the black mask. Do you notice some of the other ones? They'll have like a like a Egyptian kind of thing, and he doesn't have that, he has the dot. But he's lighter than a lot of dogs. He, some dogs are redder, some dogs are browner, mahogany. Um, some dogs in California, I haven't seen any out here, are actually gray, it's, it's starting to be acceptable. It's not my favorite color. <laughs> That's amazing, so you were telling me about, um, like there's different kinds of breeds of dogs in this area, can you tell me about like the four dogs? The okay, four dogs, we have the Lacanoa, which isn't represented. Um, it, it looks like a, this dog, but it has it has wire hair like a wire fox terrier. Then you have the Belgian sheepdog. It's very beautiful. It's to our left. It's black. And I don't know. I can't, we can't see them right now, but they're there. Then you have the Traverne, the Belgian Traverne. It looks just like this, same color, but long hair. So those are the four dogs, and they're from a town called Maligne in Belgium. And he, his name is Thibault Lebeau because I'm French and it's a, you know, in Belgium you speak French, so I wanted to give him something of his heritage. Also in his lineage, he has a direct ancestry to Belgian dogs as well. Westminster's in New York City, and I'm here with Jungle Jack Hannah. How are you doing? Oh, good. Just sitting here looking for a dog. Yes, no, I know. No, really. We lost our dogs this last summer after 15, 16, whatever years old, and uh, I'd like to look for a dog here, no doubt about that, but uh, I made the fatal mistake of bringing my wife here because okay. now she's already picked out four dogs in less than two hours, yes. but she doesn't understand something. This isn't like, these dogs are magnificent. Yeah. It's not like you pay $100 for a dog or even go to the shelter to get a dog like we do. So I've got to somehow get her out of here before I end up with 15 dogs. Oh my gosh, I know. Well, what are you guys like, what's your top choice right now? Oh, I, it's hard to say. I mean, I, some of the names of these dogs I've, I've liked, I don't even know the names of them. I've never even seen them before. Yeah, same. I've seen like Spanish water dog. I'm like, what is this? Yeah, but we had sheep dogs, golden retrievers, golden labs. I mean, collies, I could go on and on for you. Yeah. Uh, dachshunds, greyhound, everything. But um, I just want something that loves children, loves families. I, I, it doesn't have to be some fancy dog at all. It's just uh, I want a dog this summer. I don't want to go another summer without. It's the first time in my entire life I've never had a dog. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a pug pretty life. soon. Oh, okay. That's close. Not too close to a dog. It's close to having somebody. Oh, okay. Just okay. whatever you want to say. Yes. She's not here, so it's not making a difference. Yeah. So we are here so at the. Where does, where does this show go to? Um, this is the Pavlina show. Oh. Yes. <laughs> where, where does it go? Just here. Um, I have a radio show. Oh, good. Just yes. around locally. Uh, actually, it's syndicated across the country. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Uh, so we are here at the Westminster Dog Show. What is your like? What what is it like for you to be here today? Well, I'm not just saying it in front of the Coast The Coast people 
have gone to Rwanda and Africa with me, helping the ground, helping our overage over there. They do a lot for us. Yes, I'm a spokesperson for Kosovo, only for one reason. I use this medicine two years before I even got the phone call from them. Oh, wow. They called me, I did not call them. Yeah. And they said, do you use this product? I said, I sure do. Could you send us the records for it? This is how, what a good company they are. Yeah. They saw it, they said, boy, he does use it. And I know what the results were for my dog. So I'm just blessed to be here because of Dr. Todd Henderson, who called me, that founded the company, that brought me here to see this magnificent dog show. Yeah, that's amazing. Have you seen any of the, the shows? Like, or see, last, last year I got to see the final day. Okay. Today I've, I walked down through there and watched some of these. And then tomorrow I'll be, uh, tonight I'll be at the show. And then tomorrow I'll be at the show. Oh, wow. Very cool. So what is it like, you know, for you to be around all the dogs rather than, you know, at a zoo, like with lemurs or something? Well, you know, that's a good point. Um, <laughs> it, it really is interesting. I didn't think it, I didn't know it'd be this interesting. I'll be honest with you. I didn't. But when you get behind the scenes there and you watch what takes place and you watch the work that goes into it, then you go out there and watch the show, then you appreciate it. The problem sometimes I guess seeing it at home on TV, a lot of people watch this thing, yeah. but a lot of them don't know what happens behind the scenes. It's an incredible amount of work. The dog seems to enjoy it, and it, it's really neat to see something like this at uh, some of the finest in the world. I know. It's like so much grooming goes into it, and they train the dogs for hours. I, I used to want to come back as a hippo in life, you know, a big, fat hippo. Yes. I didn't care. <laughs> but now, I, I think it's a dog like this. amazing to be here at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. All the dogs are amazing, the judging, everything. I could I could never be a judge because I would just want all the dogs to win and they were just all so cute. So I'll see you guys next time. We have a hair on the camera lens. Ah, hello world. Okay.